Okay. Big homie wanted to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. Looks like the jig is finally up about Jay-Z's sexual orientation. The shocking news came from 50 Cent while on an interview with Big Boy's Neighborhood recently. During the now explosive interview, 50 revealed that Jay-Z's style and inspiration is much deeper than most people think, stating that it was from Basquiat's style and persona, which led to him adopting some of the artist's signature looks and mannerisms. For those who may not know, Basquiat was a groundbreaking artist from back in the 1980s who became famous because of his graffiti-inspired paintings that were far more than just paintings, as they tackled issues of race, class, and identity. Gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Despite 50 Cent's comments being driven by spite over his exclusion from last year's Yo! Super Bowl halftime show, his claims about Jay-Z wanting to emulate Basquiat are not as implausible as one might believe. In reality, Jay-Z has suggested on multiple occasions that he aspires to be like Basquiat, and it extends beyond merely mimicking Basquiat's iconic hairstyle. It's actually much deeper than that. Jay-Z released a song back in 2013 titled Picasso Baby in his album Magna Carta Holy Grail, where he made some pretty explicit connections to the late neo-expressionist artist. Particularly, Jay said in his lyrics, I'm the new Gene Mitchell. This instance is just one of many references to Basquiat in the song, as even Jay-Z's collaborators pay tribute to the artist in other tracks on the album. Frank Ocean specifically sings, I hope my black skin don't dirt this white tuxedo before the Basquiat show. But is there really a limit to how much Jay-Z Wow. You see, that kind of proves it right there. Like, Basquiat is some type of figure that a lot of these zesty um, rappers and artists, they like to um, they like to reference him, okay? So we know that everything is symbolism in the industry, right? So when we see someone like Jay-Z referring to Basquiat and, and someone like Frank Ocean, who's already came out, you know what I mean, as a zesty individual, he is already openly zesty. When we see that happening, we can easily add two and two and say that, okay, Jay-Z is also a zesty individual, just like Frank Ocean, and that's the reason that he's literally mimicking Basquiat. He even mimics Basquiat, like, Frank Ocean doesn't even mimic Basquiat that much. He just quoted him once, you know what I mean? And But, but Jay-Z actually, like, wants to look like this dude. He actually wants to be him, like, literally wants to be him. 50 Cent is right about that. So it's kind of crazy that 50 Cent is literally calling out the symbolism that goes on in the industry. 50 Cent knows about this because he sold his soul too. You got to remember, 50 Cent is a sellout as well. You know what I mean? But it's interesting that he would call out Jay-Z for the symbolism. You know what I mean? Everything is symbolism. Everything is Masonic hand signs, all of that. That's all, it's all symbolism. You know what I mean? Everything. So yeah, whenever they refer to someone like that, that's literally them basically, yeah, yeah. Like they're saying like, yeah, I align with that. That's that's the way that I flip, you know what I mean? That's how they're trying to tell you that. Sometimes they say things in a way where you have to pick up on it. Now, 50 Cent was dope. It was dope that he just told us, but yeah, sometimes they just say stuff in a way where you just got to like look at it and be like, okay, no, he literally means this. Embodied the late artist. Is Jay also saying he is bisexual like Gene was alleged to be? Well, it seems 50 Cent might have just given us the answers to these questions as he claimed that Jay might have been leaning toward that point. Corey Holocomb, on the other hand, has clearly stated that the 53-year-old rapper is actually gay. The American comedian name dropped Jay-Z during a podcast episode where the topic of the day was gay people in the industry. De like you call them Decepticons. Right. That's what you call them. No. <laughs> it was real adaptive. Like Jay-Z. But like Jay-Z. But like Jay-Z. But like Jay-Z. But it was Jay-Z. Question now is if these claims are true, is Beyonce also in on it? Her actions demonstrate not only her awareness of Jay-Z's desire to emulate Basquiat, but also her unwavering support for him. As evidence, on Jay-Z's last birthday, Beyonce presented him with a $35 million artwork from Jean Mitchell Basquiat. Furthermore, Beyonce has shown encouragement for Jay-Z's admiration of Basquiat on numerous occasions in the past. For example, in 2021, Tiffany & Co. launched a campaign centered on modern love, with Beyoncé and Jay-Z featured against the backdrop of a Basquiat painting. The Tiffany advertisement features Beyoncé donning a bombing ensemble adorned with black diamonds, reminiscent of the dress worn by Audrey Hepburn in the 1961 film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Meanwhile, Jay-Z is attired in garments that imitate the outfit donned by Basquiat during his appearance on the cover of New York Magazine in 1985. Although there has been controversy surrounding the issue, Basquiat's impact on the hip-hop industry remains indisputable. Numerous hip-hop artists have acknowledged Basquiat as a significant source of inspiration, and his creations continue to inspire and influence artists across various genres. 
In the meantime, fans have expressed mixed reactions to 50 Cent's assertion that Jay-Z <laughs> is attempting to imitate Basquiat. Some fans have concurred with 50 Cent's observations, citing resemblances between Jay-Z's style and that of Basquiat. Other fans have pointed out that the influence of Basquiat on hip-hop culture has been extensively documented, and it is not unexpected for Jay-Z, along with many other artists, to have been influenced by the artist's work. One fan tweeted, 50 Cent claiming Jay-Z is trying to be like Basquiat is ridiculous. Jay-Z's style and image have evolved over the years and are clearly his own. Basquiat was a huge influence on hip-hop. But that doesn't mean every artist who draws inspiration from him is trying to copy him. A second fan added, I've always thought Jay-Z was trying to be like Basquiat. There are definitely similarities between their styles and image. It's not a bad thing, nice. but it's clear that Basquiat was a major influence on Jay-Z's career. Nonetheless, it is... Facts, literally, like that that's a fact. He's definitely trying to copy Basquiat. And it's like, why is he so obsessed with Basquiat? Like, it's not like these people are artists. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like these people <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not they're not Van Gogh. Like these people are not artists. Like, why are they so obsessed with Basquiat and his and his work? It's not because they just love his paintings. Why aren't they? Why don't they like any other black painter besides Basquiat? I get that he's like one of the most popular ones, but there's other black painters. They only like Basquiat because he's the zesty one. That's why, bro. Like, that's why. A lot of painters are zesty too, but that's why. You know what I mean? That's why. Because they chose him for whatever reason. The elites in Hollywood said, okay, y'all, we want you guys to, when you guys are showing that you guys are aligning with the agenda and that you're you you basically you support the zesty agenda and you're rocking with this this is what you stand for we want you guys to use basquiat as your symbolism for that i don't know why that's been the the decision that's went on but that's the that's what happens like these artists don't just care about basquiat bro like let's be real you know i mean none of them are painters they all suck at drawing you know what i mean like why no no Challenging to disregard these assertions, considering that even his longtime companion Diddy has faced allegations of homosexuality. In 2021, Diddy received accusations of being gay after he praised Lil Nas X's sultry performance at the BET Awards, which concluded with a passionate kiss with a male backup dancer. The celebrated music producer took to his official Twitter account and conveyed his support for Lil Nas X with a simple tweet that read, Lil Nas X did that. Be fearless, Twitter users immediately labeled him as gay and urged him to come out of the closet. One user wrote, Did he want to kiss Lil Nas X now? Be fearless, Diddy. Come out the closet and show the world it's okay to be gay. Stop play like you're not. Another added, Diddy definitely gave for that tweet. A third like person posted, Diddy is gay period, no debate. The speculations about Diddy's sexuality had previously circulated on the internet when he contributed a verse to rapper Blood Sugar's 2018 track, Hope. In the music video, his vocals are positioned during a segment where two men are seen embracing each other. His lyrics went like, Sometimes I ask myself, Self. Like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved. Divided by but that I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. That's not all. Back in 2017, former personnel of Bad Boy Records, the record label established by P. Diddy, filed a lawsuit against the tycoon, claiming that he had committed sexual harassment and fostered a hostile work environment. The allegations included an assertion that P. Diddy had requested a male employee to shower with him. Furthermore, 50 Cent has seemingly made it his primary objective to label Diddy as gay on every possible occasion, including during an appearance on The Breakfast Club. He doesn't even know what he says is, like, fruity, 50 said, talking about Diddy. Various other public figures, such as Wendy Williams, who also insinuated that Diddy is homosexual during her time as the queen of urban gossip. Additionally, Alex Fine suggested that Diddy might be gay when he posted a message on Instagram, wishing all his gay friends a happy pride and including Diddy's track Gotta Move On in the caption. Attached is a charity that helps people who are in the closet and gay to move on. Along with other resources, he wrote, Last year, Diddy unveiled Gay to Move On, a single centered around his separation from his longtime girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Ventura is presently wedded to Alex Fine, her fitness coach. As the song's title indicates, it focuses on the bad boy records magnates need to move on from their on-again, off-again relationship, despite the fact that they parted ways four years ago. Cassie has... Bro, like, even all these celebrities are saying Diddy is zesty. You know what I mean? How can you deny this when every everyone is saying this? Like, there's no one who's denying this. Like, everyone is saying this except Diddy. Diddy is the only one who hasn't, like, literally said, 
yo, I really am zesty. But he's done it with his own actions, you know what I mean? And he said little things where he slips up here and there. And he said, like, I think he said that he slept in a bed with Usher at one point. I think he did say that, you know what I mean? Or Usher said that. One of them said that. One of them said something like that. They have slipped up. But, yeah, everyone knows that Diddy is zesty, you know what I mean? And then Jay-Z, you know, there's pictures of him being zesty with Diddy. You know what I mean? You got to add up two and two and think, like, what's really going on here? And 50 Cent is claiming that they're both zesty. You know what I mean? And that, you know, Jay-Z, the whole Basquiat symbolism, you know, Jay-Z is literally, like, really obsessed with Basquiat when he literally sucks at drawing, he sucks at painting. He has no, like, he has no relation to Basquiat besides the fact that they're both black. You know what I mean? Like, I guess, you know, Jay-Z's a rapper, but Basquiat is a painter. Where's, there's that, that's not a relation. Like, I get they're both technically artists, but it's not the same type of art. There's no reason for him to be so obsessed with Basquiat. I get Basquiat, he's cool, he's cool, but, like, it's weird. Like, you ever met anyone that's that obsessed with him? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of weird, bro. Like, I mean, he's good at painting. I, I, he's dope, like, definitely, like, for sure. But, I mean, dog, he has a weird obsession. You ever met someone who literally has their hair cut like Basquiat? No, I haven't. Jay-Z's one of the only people that i ever seen who literally, like, has their hair cut like Basquiat that much. They're trying to be like Basquiat their whole life, like, trying to act like they're that guy. You know what I mean? It's because Hollywood wants him to do that symbolism, like, yo, we need you to say that you're zesty, and we need you to show it in this way, okay? That is literally how this goes, okay? It's not, it's a very simple thing. They have, uh, they have handlers. Even Jay-Z, he has a handler. <clears throat> He's still kind of being handled like, Lear Cohen, he would still have to listen to Lear Cohen. If Lear Cohen told him to do something, he would have to listen still, right now. Right now, he would have to listen, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, bro, yes. It would be bad news if he if he didn't listen to Leo Cohen right now, okay? Since moved on with her fitness instructor Alex Fine, with whom she got married in 2019 and has two children, the hip hop music industry has traditionally been dominated by men, <clears throat> and as a result, it has often been associated with masculinity and heterosexuality. The idea that a rapper could openly identify as gay has been met with resistance and even ridicule, with many in the industry perpetuating the notion that being gay is a weakness or an indication of inferiority. However, in recent years, there has been a shift in the hip-hop community with more rappers openly embracing their sexuality. Artists such as Frank Ocean, Tyler the Creator, and Lil Nas X have all come out as gay or bisexual, and they have found support from both their fans and their peers. Now what we're asking is could it be possible that this shift in the industry was a play to help the king of rap come out of the closet? It. Or is he just simply giving his best to support the gay community through his embodiment of Basquiat? Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye. <clears throat> so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like the video. Link to Patreon is in the description. Snow's right here. <coughs> <coughs> Be easy, y'all. Um, yeah, yeah. And also, I want to say real quick, like, I do have early access content on the Patreon. Video requests, patron shoutouts, all of that. You know what I mean? Plenty of benefits. Uh, content that never hits YouTube, you know what I mean? If something's a, like uh, blocked on YouTube or whatever, I'll put it on Patreon. You'll get all that. And then I have the God tier, <clears throat> which has all of my content, my entire catalog from my first channel. And um, yeah, you can go on the Patreon and check all of that out if you want to look into that. And you can DM me on Instagram if you want to book a consultation for $250. I'll teach you how to like um, get started on YouTube and everything and start making money on YouTube if you want to learn that. So yeah, the snow's right here. Be easy, y'all.